Beardos, weirdos, boils and ghouls. Some of you have not listened to a word I've said, have you? Do not go into other people's channels, that and shit. Somebody has, and somebody's getting called out for it. Right, to lay the groundwork. A few weeks ago, I put out a video. I annoyed some people with said video. My video was to highlight a fake channel clawing at the paranormal community, trying to keep them on board. And in the, and somehow people took what I said wrong and attacked the wrong channel. Said some things that I didn't say. I said some things that I don't agree with. Now, I'm going to say it here and now. My haunted hotel. I put a video out. They were not happy with the reaction on their channel to my video. And they had every right to not be happy because people were being disgusting. Now, if you go over there and you look at the videos and you look at the comments and you're like, this, it's not that bad. That's because they took the bad ones down. They took the threats down. They have had threats recently, privately messaged to them. And that is disgusting. It's criminal. Now, how do I know about this? I've just looked on Facebook. No, I've had a DM. Because this person used my name and my community. I'm not going to read the message out. It's private. It's private between this guy and the hotel guys. I was sent a paragraph because it involved me directly. The rest of it has nothing to do with me. But to go and tell somebody to watch the backs because Beardo and his weirdos ultimately, ultimately wrong. That is the kind of thing that starts unnecessary drama. I recently stated in a live stream, I have no issue with my haunted hotel. They have no issue with me. People were like, Danny Moss has done a video on my haunted hotel calling you a piece of shit. I'd already watched that video. He didn't call me nothing. And then said he respects me. How in, in what world is saying he respects me and I'm welcome to work with them and they'd work with me again and I'm welcome back at the hotel. How is that in anyone's mind, him calling me a piece of shit and calling me out? That's not what happened. That is a fabrication of the truth. It's not even a little bend of the truth. It is an out and out lie. You go into somebody else's private messages and then you threaten them physically and then use my name and my community's name. You also claim to be the king of the paranormal. You have told me and you have told numerous other channels that you can prove 100% that your ghost exists and that you can within minutes, by the sounds of it, show us and introduce us to your spirit now i know why you have gone at my haunted hotel in this manner it is because you in fact have visited the hotel you've called them fake with no proof of them being fake zero yet your other complaint is they didn't feature enough of your investigation there and your methods why didn't they feature more of you i don't know that's down to them i haven't got into that conversation with them that's not my business that is their business at the end of the day, they're a far more successful channel than me. They're doing something right. Maybe they didn't want to feature your content because your content was your content. If you're filming at the same time that they are filming and you've gone, this this is proof. They've gone, hey, that guy can have that. That's his. We're not taking away from him. Because they probably would do something like that. They're decent guys or they'd at least ask permission. But this is where your issue with them stems from. You're angry with them because they didn't feature you enough in the episode where you visited the hotel. It's as simple as that. To physically threaten people on Facebook. Wow. You have been in my live streams and you have caused carnage. You've been in my... Recently, you were calling out the Ouija brothers in my live stream. Because they didn't phone... They didn't give you a phone call within a time frame you allotted to them. Holy shit, bro. If you want people to visit your home and prove you right... Maybe have a bit of patience. We're all busy people with lives, families, etc, etc. And Mark, I want you to watch this video and not see it from a place of hate. I am angry. I'm really angry that you've gone and used my name in that manner. But I want you to see this video as a take a look in the mirror and maybe realise the way you speak to people and about people is painting you in a very negative and aggressive light. You have said things like, come to me and I will prove to you, Beard, a 100% that my spirit is real. I will introduce you to Kara, but be warned, you could have electric shocks if she doesn't like you. <laughs> Hang on. I'm all up for seeing ghosty woosties and spooky wookies. Spooky wookies. Yeah. I am not up for getting electric shocks. Now, the debunk inside of me is like, how would he give me an electric shock? Would that be some sort of static he's using? Or is he going to jab me with a wire? And I made a comment to you once on our live stream. Where I was like, Mark, I'm not coming to your place because I have a fear or I have a worry that I may not leave with all of my limbs intact or wake up with my kidneys missing in a bathtub of ice. I was half joking, but you are setting alarm bells ringing and other people you've invited, I've had discussions with and you're setting alarm bells ringing for them. So it's not just me. 
you need to be very careful how you speak to people because you're coming across threatening and now you're inboxing people disagree with you in a threatening manner utterly wrong but you've made a bold claim 100 percent proof the king of the paranormal you told me that you could blow my mind with your evidence you did it's in the live streams it's in my comments i've looked at your footage especially off the back of what you've just done in my name and you have blown my mind completely blown my mind now ladies and gentlemen before i show you this footage do not go into this channel with hate with malice with negativity with toxic behavior none of it don't do it and certainly do not use my name to call him out in saying that you have blown my mind with your fakery mark you have blown my mind with how aggressive you approach people how aggressive you shout about how real you are and then the first video i watch i get a few seconds in and you're fake you use the same tricks that you're in support of me debunking on other channels so allow me to show you where you've gone wrong and show the audience where you've gone wrong because you are far too aggressive for anyone's liking and you are far too aggressive to be faking. To be as pushy as you are and then to be faking your content is disgusting. If you're going to be that aggressive, you better be cocksure that what you were doing is real and can't be caught out. And this is one video that I've looked at. 30 East Drive, incredible evidence, Black Monk Poltergeist. Now, it's not anything you'll see that is the problem. It is what you hear, and I'm going to play it through, and then I'm going to tell you why this is fake. And how I have 100% debunked it. Oh, knocking on it, that's all I could wonder, that one. Which to be honest, it might be an advantage because they're going to carry on as normal. Yeah. Well, Really it's not. It's not what she's sitting next to it. And then you can differentiate. So you can have an intelligent conversation. Here's what that was like. No. That was like. Have an intelligent conversation. Here's what that was like. No. That was like. Have an intelligent conversation. Here's what that was like. No. Do you hear what I hear? Now you hear a no. Which is very, very similar in accent to his. But I can't prove that. But what I can prove is an audio track clicks in. You hear a click, click, and then a, another type of hissing because it's poor audio quality. Either the ghost has switched on its own microphone and plugged it into the camera, or the sound has been overlaid. I'm also fully aware that this guy screams, shouts, and rants and raves in people's lives and comments about the neighbour, the caretaker. She's fake, she's this, she's that. You have very little comment on what's fake or not after what I've just heard and what I've just shown people. You that click then? That is an audio track coming live in the editing software. No. That hissing in the background. Microphones have compression. Cheaper microphones have awful compression. This one ain't too bad. But what that is, is a microphone with nothing and no filter set on it picking up static as somebody moves into the camera it's picking up that movement then the no and you hear the background hiss change with the no that was like and then it clicks off it is an overlaid sound and it is overlaid so poorly that you didn't even crop out the static either end you've edited that in after the fact so these other guys that are with you i don't know who is who here these other two guys wouldn't have been aware of what that was. They would, because this wasn't done at the East Drive. This was done in post edit. That is another layered audio track. Listen again. Here's what that was like. No, that was like. Those bass are static are from an overlaid sound cutting in and cutting back off. Here's what that was like. No, that was like. Now, while these guys are talking, there is a slight hiss in the background. There is a slight static noise in the background. Unavoidable sometimes, depending on your equipment. Now, if a spirit had wandered up to his camera and microphone and said, No, that static noise would have remained at one volume. Maybe picked up slightly because somebody has opened the threshold of the microphone by speaking too closely to it. What it wouldn't be able to do is overlay is pick up a second static sound over the top of it that is not how microphone dynamic ranges work so mark after all your posturing all your peacocking all your i'm the king of the paranormal the first video i look at 
It's 1 minute and 40 second, 41 seconds long, and it is fake. 100%, you cannot argue with it, fake. You have layered. The sound is layered. And then you have the audacity to go into other channels calling them fake. You have the audacity to use my name to threaten people. You have the audacity to use my live streams to call out people that you don't like because they want nothing to do with your evidence. Well, now I know why people want nothing to do with your evidence. You see, while I am not the greatest technical debunker and I'm not the greatest editor of the debunkers and, you know, my paranormal investigation videos, they're not that well edited because I'm very new to it all. But I know a fake overlaid sound when I hear one. Even really haunted overlays it sounds better than you just have. So Mark, while you're sat there and you're like, oof, Beardo, you nasty man. Beardo is not a nasty man. Beardo just happens to tell the truth. So Mark, while you're sat there and now your blood is boiling because you don't know how to behave, you don't know how to commune with people, because if you can't get your own way, you have a toddler-like tantrum. You won't be able to respond to this video or any other because you're toxic. Not only are you toxic, but you're dangerous to people's work in relationships. You see, I am a debunker that goes out and investigates, and I'm going out and investigating with many teams. I can't be aligned with you. I cannot, with a clear conscience, be subscribed to you or have you in my comment section when you're clearly fake and so aggressive to anyone that disagrees with you. It's not on, Mark. Have a good look at yourself in the mirror and realise exactly what it is you were doing wrong. Because your attitude sucks. I have never ever called out anyone before in a personal way. But what you've done is dangerous. It's dangerous to me. It's dangerous to other channels. Because if you're doing it between me and the hotel, you're probably doing it between other channels. Bouncing around them all, trying to get your own name put out there. And in the meantime, trash anyone that disagrees with you. You are dangerous to people's working relationships. You see, I am building a network and a community and in with that network and community are disbelievers believers investigators non-investigators debunkers and everything in between because i do for the most part sit in the middle i believe in the paranormal i just disbelieve a lot of the shit i see on youtube but to actively go into somebody's private messages away from this platform and say beardo or beardo's weirdos utterly utterly wrong how dare you how dare you go and stoke a fire that, that fizzled out as soon as it started? You've used my name because the hotel didn't feature enough of your content. The hotel guys are cool with me. And then you going in there using my name, you thought it'd kick something up where I would come to your defence because you'd then turn around and say, hey, they threatened me, they've called me this, they've called me that. Wrong. Utterly, utterly wrong. So Mark, you are banned from the community. I don't want you in here. I don't want your negativity. I don't want you calling people out in my comments. I certainly don't want you going into other channels, telling them, using me as a threat. Completely wrong. And to everyone else out there that thinks it's a really good idea to go and stir the pot up between me and other channels, be aware that the channels that have grown-ups running them, we speak. We may not always agree, but we speak. And when something like this happens, we will DM each other first. And we will say there's a bit of a problem. Um, I'm really disappointed. Really disappointed. And I'm quite angry that somebody has done the exact opposite of what I've asked. So let me lay it out on the line for you here. As adults, sometimes adults have disagreements. Have me and Danny Moss always 100% agreed on everything? <laughs> no. Will we always 100% agree on everything? No. We are very different people. We look at things from a different perspective. But we are adult enough to have conversations about it. Now, Danny's a fiery character. I'm a fiery character. We both defend our content. What you did, Mark, was go to Danny expecting me to have your back and expecting me to go on attack mode in your defense. How can I? You're a faker. People need to stop trying to play the guys that are trying to capture 100% irrefutable proof against each other the fakers are the fakers you don't need to pit me against the fakers i know who they are and i'll be calling them out and i'll be calling them out for years to come don't start drama with people where there's nothing there's no drama to start mark vernon you are fake and true to form like all the other fakers your weapon of self-defense against your fakery is aggression you're no different to the other channels i call out so don't go telling people i've called them fake when i haven't don't go into people's live streams screaming and shouting because the channel hasn't worked with you as fast as you'd like or has not called you as quick as you'd like. 
Thirdly, you'll notice you can't comment on this channel anymore. You're not welcome here. How dare you use my name in a threatening tone to somebody else? How dare you come into my live streams and scream and shout about channels that I'm friends with and call them out just because they didn't play enough of your footage or because they didn't answer your phone calls quick enough or because they haven't gone to your property quick enough and risk having an electric shock? Mark, I wish you well. And community, don't do it. Don't go over there and shout at him. In fact, don't give him the views. If you go over there as the Beardos Weirdos and you start commenting all over this video that a hey, Beardo said you're fake and all the rest of it, you push him up the algorithm and he does not deserve it. He does not deserve your views. He does not deserve your clicks. Not just because he's fake, but because of his aggressive, toxic manner. He has called out numerous friends of mine just because they haven't worked with him. And now he has used my name in some sort of vendetta against people that I actually get on with, people that I actually respect. It's a shame that it's come to this, but he's been getting under my skin for months. And I keep trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I keep thinking, you know, maybe he's got some... Maybe he's got something. Maybe he could be the guy to blow the doors off the paranormal world and it turns out you're just as fake as the rest of them. Please stop what you're doing. Stop going into other people's comments. Stop going in private messaging people. Stop threatening people. Stop using our names. And stop faking your content. Final thing for this video. No hate to anyone. Don't go into people's content comments being all nasty and Beardo did this, Beardo did that, Beardo did the other. The last thing with this. Can we please, pretty, pretty please... No matter what your thoughts are on me, what your thoughts are on the hotel, stop trying to play me and Danny off against each other, me and Brett off, me and Harry off against each other. Stop it. I like the hotel. I will return to the hotel. I want to go back and investigate the hotel. The hotel. I've even said they want me to go back as a debunker. They knew I was a debunker the first time I went there. Danny looked me dead in the eyes and said, please debunk us. So guys... Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. No negativity anyway. Leave it out. Stop it. And to you minority of people that are trying to play me and the hotel off against each other, stop that. It's not working, clearly. We're adults. We have discussions. Do we always agree? No. But do we hash things out in an adult proper form? Yes, we do. Because if nothing else, all we are looking for is proof of the paranormal. I just had to get that off my chest. I, I don't like being used as a weapon anyway. Much love to you all. Beardo out.